Uh, are you in here? Are you in here, Herman? Uh, here I am. Gee, Grandpa, I never knew you had a hobby room off the lab. <laughs> I'll admit it's a fun place, but believe me, I never saw this playpen before. You know, I once heard that this house was built on top of an old fort, and this must have been the dungeon for prisoners. <laughs> look, there's... There's something written on the wall. Uh, you'd better look first. Might be a naughty word. <laughs> Morgan's treasure in this valley. Look behind the noble Sally. Oh, that's not too naughty. <laughs> Morgan's treasure in this valley. Look behind the noble Sally. Pretty rotten poet, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Herman, you not had Morgan's treasure. <laughs> Morgan, the pirate. Somewhere in this house is Morgan's gold. A fortune and treasure from the Spanish main. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, we've got to find it. Yes. Now we got to find the treasure. Then we'll be rich and, and, and uh, we'll live in a lot of luxury and have millions. millions. <laughs> Ancient pirates and buccaneers. A revised edition. Blue beard, Captain Blood, Captain Kidd, Long John Silver. Here we are. Oh, Herman, here we are. Hand me Morgan. <laughs> it says here that Morgan and his crew visited Mockingbird Valley back in 1672 when they were hiding from the Spanish Navy. <laughs> He is thought to have buried some of his loot in the vicinity. <laughs> he planned a return for it, but like so many pirates, he was brought to justice and hanged in the end. <laughs> That's funny. I thought they usually hung him by the neck. Here you go, Aunt Lily. Oh, Marilyn, have you seen Grandpa or Herman? I have an idea they're up to something. They've been acting very odd all day. Well, they're down in the dungeon with the trap door bolted from the inside. Oh, those two. The last time they acted this sneaky, Grandpa was trying to get a license from the Federal Reserve. He wanted to open his own blood bank. <laughs> Look behind the noble Sally. <laughs> Never been a Sally in this house. Hmm. 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 Maybe we get out the telephone book and call all the girls named Sally. Now, will you be quiet? I'm trying to think. What are you doing? I'm thinking, too. Well, knock it off. It's too dangerous. <laughs> That's it. That's it! <laughs> That's Sally! There it is! <laughs> so, Sally! Sally, where is she? Where, where, where's Sally? Sally, the lizard! Sally Salamander! The lizard! Yes. Sally, Sally, Sally Salamander! <laughs> I don't get it. You don't, what do you mean you don't get it? The li a lizard is a salamander, and Sally is short for salamander. The secret to the treasure is hidden behind this rock. <laughs> hurry, hurry, don't, don't stand there. Get me a hammer. Grandpa, what? allow me. this old piece of paper. <laughs> old piece of paper? <laughs> Herman, this is a genuine pirate treasure map. 
How do you know? Well, how do I know? Because everything here is spelled wrong. <laughs> Look! There's that river that, that, that runs through our town. Oh, uh, look, look. Uh, there's that little hill behind the house. And yeah. uh, there's Camel Rock, the big boulder in our yard. <laughs> <laughs> Herman, the treasure is buried right here. It's ours, ours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now they're out there in the yard with their shovels and pickaxes. Imagine looking for Morgan's treasure in our own backyard. I asked them to wait till morning, but Grandpa says he always does his best digging at night. <laughs> you know, Aunt Lily, there could be something to this buried treasure story. Now, our history professor says that there were pirates in this area. Oh, I don't know, Marilyn. <laughs> Finding buried treasure in pirate's gold. Things like that just don't happen to normal, everyday families like us. <laughs> Grandpa and Uncle Herman did find a map, and it looked authentic. Your Uncle Herman just isn't the lucky type. Like that time a few years ago, we won those cruise tickets on the Titanic. At the last minute, he couldn't get time off from work. <laughs> it says, walk due north from the Ankh? Take eight goodly paces from the Ankh. Wait a minute. Herman, what is an Ankh? An Ankh? Yeah. Well, an Ankh is it? Herman, you big dummy, yes. there's no such thing as an Ankh. Now, will you let me read this? <laughs> I think I can make this out now. Take eight goodly paces due north from the oak. Oh, that's better. <laughs> no, it's not. Persimmon trees we got. Oleander we got. Trailing arbutuses we got. Poison ivy we got. Oak, no got. <laughs> not one measly, lousy, crummy oak. <laughs> Don't be discouraged, Grandpa. As, as, as the poets have always said, uh, somewhere over the rainbow, there's a bluebird of happiness waiting for the Robert E. Lee. <laughs> Aunt Lily, come here for a minute. I want you to see something. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Oh, they're sitting there resting from their labors. Isn't it nice the way they're getting along together? Yes. In the old country, a father would be at his son-in-law's throat by now. <laughs> Maybe it would be nice if they found that treasure together. It's wonderful to see them doing little things together. Well, I guess that map was just a big old fake. There sure aren't any oak trees around here. <laughs> Hi, Pop. Hi, Grandpa. What are you guys doing, sitting on this stump? Well, we're just trying to... Stump? stump? <laughs> <laughs> Her Herman, <laughs> the stump is the oak. Someone must have cut it down. <laughs> I'll walk eight goodly paces north. Hey, Pop, can I stay and watch? Uh, you go in the house, Eddie. But, Pop! Go in the house. <laughs> Look at him, a rich man's son, and already he's spoiled. 